before I start this video, I just wanted to say anybody in the fight against epilepsy or if you have a child or a loved one, don't give up. Don't lose your faith. Keep fighting. Keep praying. Do your research. Lord, it will get better. In Jesus name, we pray for everyone in the fight against epilepsy. Oh, Wawa Pizza is so good. If you know, you know. I, I know I told y'all we've been dealing with a lot of break-ins at the shop. They done really stole like most of his tools. So many of his tools. And now the truck is missing. With the, the plan is to see how much time he gets because at this point I'm considering just letting the shop go. It's just getting to be too much. Fortunately, I had to pull him out of school. Um, the seizures are uncontrolled. We done, Lord. If you don't do nothing else for me, just do it for my son. Like, he ain't got to give me nothing else. Just heal my son. He do not deserve this life he been given. I ain't paying her nothing. No mind. But she went to jail. I don't call it the police. Grand Theft Auto. I was sad about taking my braids out. Because, baby, if you know, you know these braids will hide your back rolls. Okay? I'm gonna grab his calculator too. I stay checking these clearance racks, baby. This is a Chanel book. This is cute. Yeah, I like this. I like it already. Oh, look at that. That is perfect. Oh, I did that. That is so, y'all. This is how the dining room table end up looking. This is from Amazon. Get him started. So he can just be comfortable. You like it, Kaden? Everybody, I just need y'all to send a prayer up for my baby, Kaden. Let's. Let's wish him a good homeschooling journey and pray that he can get back in school as soon as possible. What's up, E Gang? It's your girl Ebony Elbow back to you with another Vliggity vlog. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, baby, because you're going to like it. And welcome back to my OGs. So it is Monday. Happy Monday to everybody. I hope everybody have a good, prosperous week. If you didn't watch my last vlog, about two vlogs ago, make sure you watch it. If you need some motivation, if you need a little, uh, to get you going, make sure you watch that last vlog. I had a lot of people inbox me telling me how much that vlog, my car rent helped them. And I'm glad if I could just motivate one person, I'm happy. So I'm glad a lot of y'all were receptive to that. But anyway, I'm about to go pick Cameron up for daycare, bring him back home because I got a lip filler appointment today, y'all. I'm not really liking my lips no more. Um, I don't know if y'all noticed. Sometimes it may sound, they may look like my lips are crooked when I'm talking because if you don't know, I had lip fillers with the pen, pen lip fillers, and this side right here is not as full as this side, and I definitely notice it. And because these these are heavier, it makes it look like I'm talking crooked. So she's supposed to fix that today. Um, so yeah, and I may just get another round because I, I want them maybe a little fuller. Like y'all, I didn't have no, I had lips just like my daddy. I didn't have any top lip. It was so small. So I maybe want to go just a little fuller, nothing like, but you know, a little like, but not like just, okay. Anyway, let's go get Cam. Okay, I just left out the lash appointment. We end up not doing it today because she want to try a different filler on me, Juvederm. And she said it, it's coming in in like two weeks. So I'm going to come back in two weeks and do the Juvederm. I forget the name of the one she did now, but the Juvederm supposed to be better. That's what they use in the doctor's offices. So yeah. So now I'm going to just go by the shop since I'm literally probably like five minutes away from it. I had paid this guy to cut the grass to clean up and stuff, so I want to check behind him and make sure ain't nothing else been stolen. I'm at the shop. I'm just checking. Oh, yeah, he did cut the grass. Well, what the hell the car? Yeah, so he did cut the grass over here. Okay, he did a good job. He cleaned up too. So that's good. So these are the dog houses I was telling y'all about. 
they're big they go all the way back they're long my husband built all these by hand these dogs lived nicely he loved those dogs i don't i don't know if y'all can tell okay so y'all now i'm at target well to go to cvs i did not know they had a cvs inside this target so that's gonna be so helpful because the only other one that's close is like 20 minutes this one is five Okay, now I'm at Wawa getting some gas. It is cold out here, y'all. Like, cold. It's cold. Maybe because of my shirt. I don't know. We back home, and it's a Wawa's pizza kind of night, y'all. Wawa pizza is so good. If you know, you know. I don't know if y'all tried it, but baby, it's so good. Wawa pizza is so good. I know I ain't supposed to be eating this, but Lord, it tastes kind of like... Pizza. You know how Pizza Hut tastes like unauthentic? Even though this is not authentic, it's really close to it. The crust, the dough, it's good. Like, if you haven't had it, try it. It's, you have to get it after 4 o'clock, but it's worth it. Good morning, good morning, y'all. Today is Tuesday. It's 4 o'clock in the morning. I'm up working um it is a video and now i'm about to color my mom's hair that um i'm doing her hair today she don't like to be on camera so i won't probably i'm probably not gonna film it while i'm doing it but i'll show it to y'all after i'm done so she's simple she just hit bundles with a closure i don't do hair anymore but i always do my mom's hair I gave me back. So yeah, I'm just finna color them. She likes a little color. So I'm finna color them. But yeah, y'all, I um yesterday I wanted to talk to my husband before I spoke too soon. I don't know if y'all paid attention yesterday when I cut the camera off as I was showing y'all the dog houses. Cause I turned my head and I noticed something. And I noticed that my husband's um truck was missing. One of his, um, not one of his, his dually truck was missing. It was parked on the side of the shop. So I'm like, well, he would have told me if, you know, he had somebody moved it or he had one of his friends told it or something. So I'm like, but I still want to talk to him first before I go on camera, make an assumption. So, um, we had agreed to talk at um, 10 o'clock because we be trying to preserve money because the, the, the federal jail calls are so expensive y'all So once he gets sent off to the actual prison, he's in what they call a holdover So you have to pay for the calls But from what he's telling me once he gets sent out to an actual prison The calls are free to 503 minutes a month So that'll be a big help because right now they're expensive. But anyway y'all um, so I wait for him to call me at 10 o'clock. He called me and I'm like, hey, did you have the truck removed? He didn't know what I was talking about. I'm like, and none of his friends, like he don't really have no friends that would move the truck, a close friends like that, that wouldn't move the truck without telling me. But I'm like, well, maybe he talked, you know what I'm saying? I still wanted to know check box. I'm on camera with the activation. So anyway, y'all, long story short, y'all know I told y'all we've been dealing with a lot of break-ins at the shop. They done really stole like most of his tools so many of his tools and now the truck is missing so this morning i got to file a police report about the truck y'all it's just it's just way too much like i'm really like i'm really getting sick of it i'm really i can't be at the shop at all times i can't you know i live where we currently live now it's probably about 40 minutes away from the shop and with traffic even more. So it takes me a while to get to the shop at this point. And I just, I can't, I try to go every day, but in the middle of me working and doing buildings, sometimes it's just, it's just out of my reach to go every day. And it's just getting to be a bit too much. I'm considering when my husband go to court November 8th, if 
I need to, with the, the plan is to see how much time he gets because at this point I'm considering just letting the shop go. It's just getting to be too much. Um, things keep getting stolen. Yeah, I'm just. Mm. <laughs> So y'all, it's later on in the day. I'm on my lunch break and I'm headed up here to Caden's school because unfortunately I had to pull him out of school. Um, the seizures are uncontrolled and y'all saw I just drunk something red. Um, yeah, I, he can't be in school like that. So it's, it's been a sad day. I'm headed up here to get his paperwork. It's called Hospital Homebound School. And basically it's like homeschool, but a nurse will facilitate it. Um, prior to COVID, they used to come in the home and then COVID hit, cause he had to do it before. And then COVID hit and they said it was all virtual. So I'm getting ready to find out now, will a nurse actually come in for a few days? I think they do three days and I would do two days. But yeah, he's sad. Um, he's really sad. Of course, he wants to be in school with his peers. And I'm sad. And I feel like it's nothing I can do. So, I just pulled into school. So, I'm going to run in here and get the paperwork. And it's a shitty day, y'all. It's a shitty day. That's my baby. And I just want this to be done. Lord, if you don't do nothing else for me, just do it for my son. Like, he ain't gotta give me nothing else. Just heal my son. He do not deserve this life he been given. All right, y'all. Good morning, good morning. Today is Wednesday. This week is really flying by. Um, I didn't come back on camera yesterday, y'all. I was just kind of really upset yesterday with everything going on with Katie. But, yeah, so I'm going to, um, I'm going to, um, today I got to put that dining room table together so that I could set him up, like, a little, because I, at my old house, he was, he had room for a desk and stuff. We don't have room for a desk at this house, but that's okay. We're going to improvise. So I want to set him up, like, a little school area during the day at the dining room table so i gotta get that table up it looks so complicated and it don't have it's like i killed no written instructions just pictures my daughter tried to google a youtube video but we gonna just have to figure it out or i'm gonna have to i'm really trying not to hire a task rabbit because i've spent so much money y'all like so much money anyway y'all how about i did a little homework and a girl told me well, I had one of my husband's friends do a little homework around in that area. Baby, around in that area where my I shop at, they they just, they talk, talk, baby. That's just gossip town. So, everybody be knowing everything. So, I put the word out about the truck. So, a girl, one of my husband's friends, he was around there and he put the girl on the phone. First of all, this whole say she gonna, um, he, she told him it's gonna cost him for the telly. But, anyway, I ain't paying her nothing. No mind. But she ended up telling me a name who she thinks stole the truck. 
but I don't know. I feel like she just said anything because we was on the phone and maybe she, like if I was in her face with money, it would have been different. But I'm pulling up around the other day. So I told my husband the person's name who she said. My husband said that he does know that person. So yeah, cause the old me would have took me out into my own hands. But baby, I'm bringing the police and you going to jail. Cause I'm tired of y'all. I am tired of y'all. You going to jail. I am calling the police. Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, so I really can't even believe. Like how you still a big old dually truck and think you finna get away with it? Like how? I still can't believe they even did that. Like, anyway, I'm dropping Cam out of school. Y'all know Wednesdays is my early day. Dropping Cam out of school and I got a building to clean this morning. Headed home, work. I do have to work a little while today. And then we're gonna um put that table up. We gotta figure it out. Y'all, I got the table, my dresser, the entertainment center. Um what else? Dresser. I got a bunch of stuff that gotta be put up, y'all. And it's just still my bed. I still ain't put my bed up. And it's just sitting there looking at me and I be looking at it. But anyway. I'll call y'all back in a minute. Okay, y'all, I just got done cleaning my morning building. So I still got a few minutes. I'm going out of time. I'm going, like I told y'all, I'm going to Dallas Friday morning. Like, I gotta leave like four o'clock in the morning Friday. So I'm going to head to my mama's house now. And because I'm only staying for, I'm only gonna be there like not even two full days. So I'm going to my mom's house and get her carry-on suitcase because I don't need check, I only have check luggage size and I don't need that. So I'm gonna go to my mom's house and um get her check luggage real quick so I could take that with me. Cause yeah, I don't, I'm not finna pay to check no luggage. I'm already mad by all this money I've been spending. So I get one free check, I mean one free carry-on so I'm about to go get that and then head home. We got to take these braids out tonight too, y'all. So, yeah. All right. Hey, I'm just pulling up to my parents' neighborhood. It only took me about 10 minutes to get here from where I was cleaning my building. So, yeah. Let me run in here. My daddy already sitting outside. So, let me run in here and get this suitcase. Okay, y'all, I'm back home. I've been washing dishes and straightening up, but this what I thought my mom was gonna give me like a rolling suitcase. This is what she gave me, even though it's cute, pink, my favorite color. I think I think she didn't understand what I was trying to do. Cause she got the smallest, but I think I may can get all my stuff in here because I'm oh she got oh she put snacks in here for the kids. Katie, run my sister some snacks. My kids love hot chips. She's so thoughtful. I think I know that's where I get it from. But anyway, um, I think to get all my stuff in here because I'm taking one pair of heels, one dress, one change of clothes. One, yeah, I think I can get everything in here. And I bought this little small little thing to, to like, um, here she bought you some um, hot chips and fat cake. You want to, you want to count? Well done. <laughs> So yeah, but no, you can take Centella, thank you, baby. Okay. Um, I'm just straightening up. Cam wanted marshmallows in his lunch this morning when I made his lunch. But yeah, I had y'all, I had thought about something. Cause y'all know I'm trying to um be do mindful spending and meaningful spending and you know like, you know like be smart. So I got some stuff. Remember I told y'all I had a bunch of decorations I haven't used. I got some stuff that in the um garage that I think would be good to go out there on the back patio. So we're gonna go find it and put it on the back patio. And you gotta take these braids out. Y'all, I'm sad about taking my braids out because baby, if you know, you know these braids will hide your back rolls. Okay. So back rolls gonna be in full effect. And then I gotta wash the wig because. I'm reusing, um, oh, I don't want your paperwork to get wet. Um, I'm getting a frontal tomorrow. So I, um, ordered some Olapex, baby. These bring your wigs back to life. You hear me? I think this was the 
$50 one. So this is the $50 size. This is the set. This is the $50 size. But when I tell you it will bring your wigs back, it will bring your wigs back. I got it off of Amazon. If you want it, I'll list it below. But my daughter had this real pretty wig. Hold on. Let me show y'all. Let me show you. Hold on. Okay. So it's, it's like she let... It, it's not how I look a little better than this, but she let some stuff sit on it when it dried. But I just love this color. So I'm going to bring this back to life because, yeah, baby, <laughs> we recycle wigs as many as my wigs as I don't let her have. Baby, I love this color. So I was like, well, yo, I'm only going to be wearing it for a few days. So I'm like, wear your wig or spend $400 on a new one because I wanted this color and the inch. And good health would have been about $380. That's $400 to me. So, yeah. Is recycling and rewearing my daughter wig. I don't care. Judge your mammy. So, yeah. We're going to wash this and bring it back to life with the older plate. And I'll show y'all how it looks. But, yeah. Let me finish washing these dishes. I hate when hell being. This is another reason why I stopped doing hell in my house. I can't stand it. It just. It be so hard to get rid of. It be everywhere. It be all on your food. But let me finish cleaning up the kitchen and then we'll do the um patio. Okay, we finna go get that stuff from outside, but I want some water first. Drink your water. I just told my mom, y'all, my mom just FaceTimed me. She got her lashes done. She went to my girl. I was supposed to go this morning too, but I couldn't make it. But this is my mom's first time getting um last extensions, the individuals. She looks so cute and I had an idea of her hair. She going to Vegas Sunday. So, um, yeah, she looked cute, but what I was going to tell y'all, I don't remember. I remember, but then I'll tell y'all. Okay, y'all, we in the garage. So, let me show y'all. I ain't going to show y'all this whole garage, because, ooh, y'all going to judge. Ooh, girl, y'all going to judge me. But let me show y'all what I was thinking. Can go on the back porch. Hold on. So I had this little tray from Ikea. I forgot why I had it sit. Oh, I had it sitting on my living room table. So I was thinking this tray, and this is all stuff I was getting rid of, y'all. I was donating to my friends with this little plant. And then I got some like wooden coasters out here somewhere. Well, I told y'all about my stockpile. That's air fresheners and stuff, y'all. But I got some wooden coasters because y'all know that table is glass. So, I feel like we could sit the glass. I mean, your cups on it. So, y'all, let's let's see how this look. Let's see how this look. So, let me see. Hey, girl, you look pretty pretty. I don't know. It might be too big. I don't know, y'all. Let me see what y'all thinking. Let me back up and see. Okay, that's kind of cute. With some more stuff over there. I think that's kind of cute. This week, this porch. And I got some bug spray I'm going to put out here. Because these spider webs, they just horrendous. It just be so many of them. And I don't like that. So I got some little bug spray. I put it in my house too because... I ain't paying no exterminator. I am the exterminator. So, just sweeping and sweeping these welds down. And I'm going to put, I'm going to spray out here. I actually sat out here today. This morning. It's so peaceful. I'm going to put a, I'm going to get me a little um fire pit off Amazon. Oh, yeah, I ain't putting nothing else on that table unless it's on that tray. Because I'm going to get me a little fire pit off Amazon. And baby, me and the kids gonna sit out here and I'm gonna make us have reading time. Even the girls, I don't care if you're grown. We gonna all sit out here. I used to do that with my kids back in the day. I used to do like a, how long? I forgot, I gotta ask them. I'm gonna ask my daughter. I used to make them read. I used to say everything off we reading. I think we used to do like an hour or 30 minutes. I gotta ask my kids, but I need to incorporate that with my boys. Cal can't read, but I, I'll read a book to him. But yeah, y'all, sometimes make them kids cut off the TVs and grab a book. And I don't even, I don't know about y'all, but texting, I don't let my kids do um the talk to text. 
know you need to spell your words out because with all this AI and all this technology, y'all, these kids, they it's really gonna handicap them. Especially my son, my 10 year old. If I, baby, you better not talk text around me, no sir. Spell those words out because if you don't use it, you'll lose it. Anyway, yeah. What y'all think about that? Comment down below. Auntie Charlene. Mm-hmm. My show, my hold your eyes down, show my vlog your lashes. Ooh. Oh, child. <laughs> Don't play with me. She's talking about don't play with me. <laughs> okay, we about to finally do this table one more time. I'm going to read it carefully. It ain't no written instructions. I'm going to look at the pictures carefully. It's three of us, so we should be able to get it done this time. I think online it said it took like 45 minutes. So, let's see. <laughs> So this is the table, y'all. I was gonna get rid of these chairs because I felt like they was too low, but they work out perfect over here. I wanna go to Dollar General. I'm setting up Kata an area for school. So I wanna go to Dollar General just to make it feel, you know, better for him. So I wanna go get some more stuff and make this cuter. And we'll finish setting this up. And I'm gonna go by home goods as well. Also, excuse my garage, don't judge me. We slowly clearing it out. I was thinking about ordering a black table, but y'all, I have this gold table that I was gonna put on the marketplace. I'm thinking about just cleaning it up and putting it in there because I got so much black. Like my entertainment system is black. It got gold trimming. Um, the table is black. Yeah, I'm thinking about y'all you know, just cleaning this up and putting it in there and see how it look. But anyway, let's go to the store. Okay, so we in Dollar Tree. I think I'll get this like plan the week out um a pencil holder what else um i'm gonna grab this calculator too and i think that's pretty much it to get started so yeah let's go to home goods okay so i just got in home goods i'm going to look for some pillows first and see what else I could find. I wanna play on that black and gray. So I may have to do Amazon. I'ma try at home too, but I guess it's all the gray they got. Okay, so the confidence set I bought doesn't have any sheets. Sunny so sheets. Oh white on sale, but 
These gotta be good if they was regular. And oh, I hate when they be open and it be dirty. I can't stand that. Mm -mm. I'm traumatized from that. Let me find some sheets. These are some cute lamps. I like these. How much are they? Oh, they cheap too, y'all. Those are really cute. Hmm. Look what I found, y'all. That's a good deal. This on sale for $12. My desk kind of full, but I wonder if I can make this work. Let me get it and see. I stay checking these clearance racks, baby. This would be cute with some pompous grass. That's cute. Chanel book. This is cute. I think. Definitely want this. Definitely want this for my table. Fourteen ninety nine. I definitely want this. I circle back to the pillows and I found this. I really like it, but it's only one as always. Let me try to see if I can find another one. Y'all, these are almost perfect for the couch. What y'all think? $34.99. I think I'm going to get them. They got two, too. But it's all I decided to get. The pillows, sheets, and this moss. So, yeah. I'm gonna bring it in just to see how it look out here. Look at that. That's perfect. Oh, I did that. That is, tell me that ain't perfect. That is spot on. I did that. All right, so I got this moss. Let me see. Let me just put this in here. I just think that's gonna look so good. That gold with this green. Let me see. Let me just put this in here. Yeah, I like this. I like it already. Yeah, that's cute. And this was on the fourth. My total was 118 at Home Goods. I like that. Let me see, do I need to add more or is that enough? I might can add a little more. Okay. So y'all, this is how the dining room table end up looking. This is from Amazon. I think it's gonna be really cute once I get some really cute pictures to put up there. I was gonna do six chairs, but I think four is perfect. Love the green, how it accents the black and the gold. I just need some cute pictures up there. And I may do just like an all black rug right here, 
but I like it. I will list this table below. I think it was like $200, y'all. I got it on Amazon Prime Day. It was cheap. And then I wanted to show y'all, this is how the gold table looks here. I think I'm going to spray paint it to match the gold on those chairs. This, and I think I'm going to keep it there. I think I like it there to save me money once I decorate it. Throw some gray pillows, small gray pillows up there. It's going to be cute, y'all. It is coming along. Y'all, I can't believe how perfect those pillows are. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Yeah, I think it's coming along. Okay, y'all. So, I set up his stuff. I bought some little water bottles so he could have during the day. He said he liked it. We got a pencil um, jar. We got paper. I got a bunch of other school supplies. But this is to get him started. So, he could just be comfortable. You like it, Kaden? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so good. All right, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog and start a new one. Everybody, I just need y'all to send a prayer up for my baby, Kaden. Let's, let's wish him a good homeschooling journey and pray that he can get back in school as soon as possible. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to open another vlog tonight. So, if you see me with this same shirt on, don't forget this vlog, Toba. I'm just... Vlogging, vlogging, vlogging. All right, E-Gang. Love y'all. Good night.